Hello, in this recording, I'll be showing how students can log in into the college website, New Hampshire College website, and how can they access MS Team and Outlook. Uh, what I've done is, uh, students, I have uh, reset your password, and uh, I reset your password, and I've, I'll send you an email with your username and the password. Username is your college ID. If you don't know, um, I will send you an email. I will send you all an email with your username, password, and the college email ID and the password to log in into uh, your Microsoft Team. It's usually the same password uh, to log in into your uh, Newham College website and also to log in into your MS Team. I'm going to keep the same password. Right. Um, please check your emails. I'll be sending it soon. And uh, once you have your student ID and the password from me, uh, go on to Newham College website and then open your student login. Student login. Here, uh, okay, because I was already logged in, so I'm just right here. It will open up this page. I have taken the student's permission to use the login. Now, username is the college ID. Uh, I'm typing the college ID carefully and just the college ID and the password uh, your tutor will set it up for you or yes uh, or reset uh, uh, and type the password carefully wherever it is a capital letter capital letter small letter small letter I have, I'll send you the uh, password as well and then click on login if it goes, if it doesn't go for the first time, students, don't worry. Check it again because uh, sometimes we make a mistake in entering the password. So now, see for your name. Yes, uh, the student I have used is Fazanas. So look for your name. You will see your name once you have logged in properly. So then, after you're logging in, uh, this is your home page. You're going to My ILP. And then you have access to eTracker, BKSB, MS Office apps, and so on. If I click on MS Office apps, now it's going to have, ask you to enter your email ID and password. Email ID is nothing but your student. Sorry, I'm going to delete mine. It's showing up mine because I, I, I've logged in. But delete whatever you find that. Your email ID is student id your student id student not this one at, at student dot newham dot ac dot uk this is same it's just your student id is different two five is is different apart from that at student dot newham dot ac dot uk is same for everyone just your id is different well, anyway, I'll send it in your email next. The same password, the same password that you use to log in into your college website, the same password. And type the password carefully and click on sign in. Once you do that, uh, I don't want to show this message. I just say to your S. See, and uh, now, good morning, Fazana. That means you have logged in. You can have access to Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Uh, if you don't have the software, in case you're an IT student, you're doing my work, you can use these softwares to work and send me the work. To check your emails, because uh, we will be communicating through your email students, through your college emails. So please make sure you have access to your college emails. Click on Outlook. Then you, you will see your email. In case if it takes you to the option of entering your email address and the password, please enter your college ID at student.newham.ac.uk and the password is the same password uh, that you use to log in into your college uh, website. See, this is your email. So if you want to send an email to your tutor, click on new message, type the email address of the tutor. Uh, I'm going to type mine. Just give you an example. I'm sure you already know that. Uh, Leela dot Ericman uh, comes up and type the message and uh, hello how are you doing what anything you want to type if you want to attach the file click on attach browse this computer or uh, and attach the file what, and then you click on send the message will be sent to you 
right? This is, uh, you, uh, you must be using uh, from now on students. Uh, I highly recommend you to use your college email address to contact me. Now, once you are done with the email, if for example, if you want to go back to you, uh, your team, uh, uh, Microsoft team, again, open the college, uh, we see here already here teams. So open your teams. And uh, if you get into this page, I'm going to go to use the web app instead or get the Windows app. Sometimes if you have logged in into your call, into your children uh, MS team, it will open through that. You can delete and uh, you can enter the email ID and password that I have given to you. Use the web app instead and then I just click on next and all these options coming up. I'm just saying no to that. See that? There is. Uh, I can see my students' uh, initials. So now, uh, if you have, if you, uh, if your tutor has sent you a link to join the meeting, what you can do is you can click on calendar, and here you will see the link somewhere here. For example, teacher has set up a link. You will see the link. Just click on the link and click on join. You will be joining the meeting. So you will be seeing the link on your calendar once it is MS Team or in your email also you will see the link. You can just click on the link and it will take you to the meeting directly. If you have any activities such as if you want to post or if you want to chat with your friends or if you want to, if you have any assignments, uh, or you can check through this. I feel if the teacher has set you an assignments or if you want to chat to me or chat with any one of your friends, you can do with that or I can post some uh, uh, any news or any updates if there is, uh, if there is, if the if I have to give you something. So this is how student. Uh, please, uh, uh, we will be using MS Team. Please check your email address and uh, and also we'll be looking into your, um, uh, we'll be working through MS Team in the future. Uh, I was using Zoom till now, but uh, I'll be soon switching to MS Team. Right. Uh, a quick recap. Go into the college website, go into student login, and then enter your email address and the password, and it will direct, directly take you to the college website. And then from my ILP, you can use eTracker, BKSB, or, or, or MS Office apps. And from here, you can access all those uh, apps like Word, Excel, Outlook, and Teams. Thank you.